Tesla has no power and can't be put on neutral. So this is how it has to come off. What's up everyone, it's your boy Oz with Toe Vibes and I actually got tagged in this video so in natural Toe Vibes fashion we're going to do an internet video breakdown. Now first things first is I see the damage on the bumper right there. That very well could have been caused by the tow guy loading it and not putting a couple blocks of wood down. Now there's a reason I invested in a self-loader tow truck with dollies and it's for situations just like this. When you get that super expensive car that's locked up that won't roll up the bed, all you gotta do is bust out your dollies and then use the self-loader to get up underneath the front and you're rolling in minutes. Now, like most Teslas, there is a way to get it in neutral. You have to do it through the screen and then go to the tow button to release the electronic brakes. But if it has no power and you can't get any power to the screen or the Tesla itself, you're going to have to winch it off with skates and then slide it off with skates and Dawn dish soap if you're using a rollback. This man's a savage. He's straight up using a breaker bar to that beautiful Tesla wheel to actually spin it back the other way, which it's working. But dude, you're going to scratch the living hell out of the wheel. Why wouldn't you use the opposite side of the breaker bar? but you got gloves on to protect your hand. Screw your damn hands, your hands will heal. That wheel won't. Shake it fast, watch yourself. Shake it fast, bruh, not in this situation. Now, bro, I see you're using skates, but you only put them in the back. Where's the skates in the front? That's like peanut butter and no jelly. Now, unfortunately, his lack of skills are gonna end up costing him a lot of money. However much that bumper is, the paint underneath it, and the wrap is not going to be cheap. All you had to do, my guy, was walk the truck out a little bit, and you would have been out of there scot clean. Man, that's so sad. Another way he could have really avoided this was just taking his automotive jack that I know he's got. He could have put it right up underneath the lift point behind the wheel, lifted the car up, and pulled the bed right out from underneath it. Like they say, there's more than one way to skin a cat. So, tow guys, please work smarter, not harder. This has been a Tow Vibes PSA.